morning, brothers and sisters of Christ, y'all. Um, y'all, there's a few things I'm going to discuss with y'all. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Um, What the Lord has put in my spirit this morning. He got me up at five something. And the Lord has, y'all, I had a dream too about a storm coming. Somebody I knew had a house. They were built, boarding up their home, their windows. Because a storm was coming. So the Lord got me with that dream. And then the Lord got me on to this, y'all. Y'all know about, he been speaking to me a lot about Egypt. About how they want to go back to the Old Testament slavery days. And you know how so much been going on, like in the United States of America, is slavery. And they want to go back to slavery days. And the Lord got me into this because, you know, uh, Jesus Christ. You read the description in the Bible, he wasn't a white, he wasn't a Caucasian man. He was a black man. The skin and everything, his hair. So y'all know, but the Lord told me that while we expect to be persecuted, and the thing is, why is so much with us with our skin color? Because you got to understand, we walk like a, a symbol like a Jesus Christ. And he got me, let me tell you why he got me into this. Because then he gave me Daniel. I'm going to go, we're going to go along with the Lord, y'all. First, he gave me a scripture talking about grace. That his grace, that we got grace. Lord's, the God's grace, how good he is, y'all. So I'm not going to read that scripture, but just know about God's grace. Then he got me into Daniel 24, right? So we're going to read Daniel 24. And then we're going to read, uh, <laughs> we're going to read Daniel 24, right? And then I'm going to stop and then show y'all what he's showing me. Okay. Then Jesus came out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came up to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said to them, do you not see all these things? Assuredly, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here on, upon, upon uh, uh, another. They shall not be thrown down. Then he got me into the signs of times. Here we go. Now here, now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciple came to his, his private, to him privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Because y'all know God doing judgment, y'all. God doing judgment before he come back. And everybody, he, he just doing judgment on those who did it. Let's go, let's go y'all. Let me read this. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and I would and will and will deceive. They will they will be saying, I am the Christ, and I would and <sighs> Satan, I'll beat you in the name of Jesus. Y'all, let me get this together. I should have prayed for I got up from here. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these things are beginning of sorrow. So when he also told me that, you know, we hear about wars and rumors of wars and all this stuff. And then he told me about pestilence and brought me back to when he doing for Egypt. To Pharaoh, to let his people go. Okay, these all things are the beginning of sorrow. Then they will deliver you up into tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And become lawlessness will abound. The love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end will be saved. And this is the gospel of the kingdom. Will be preached in all the world. In all the world as a witness to the nations. And, to the, and, uh, and the end will come. Which we know we're already into this y'all. People are already killing. And all that, this kind of stuff. He's saying it uh, uh, deliver you up to tribulation. He ain't said the great tribulation. He said tribulation. Because after we go down he's talking about the great tribulation. And they will kill you. And, hate it, and they will hate you. 
but he already told us false prophets on the rise uh and there will be many offended they will betray one another they're doing that now that now and will hate one another they do that now and many false prophets will rise and deceive many that's now and because lawlessness will abound and love of many will go cold which it is now people killing people don't care but he who endures to the end will be saved and this gospel of the kingdom he talking about the kingdom remember he told us about his kingdom that the kingdom on earth how are you telling us people don't want to preach it? They're not preaching about the kingdom of heaven be on earth. they preaching about all other stuff. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world of the witnesses of the nation. And then the end will come. So he, people will be preaching this, which we see some people preaching about his kingdom on earth. Then he got me right here. We're going to the great tribulation. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken to Spoken of by uh, uh, spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. So I went to Daniel nine. Spoken by Daniel nine twenty six to twenty seven. So let's go to Daniel because he talking about Daniel when da Daniel spoken. And then this is what we're gonna get to what the Lord got me at. So we gotta go find out find out what he talking about with Daniel. <coughs> okay, he got me Daniel nine. Daniel 9, 26 to 27. And after the 62 weeks, Messiah would be cut off, but not from himself. And the people of the prince, look, and the people of the prince who is to come, talking about Satan, you already know the Antichrist, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end is shall the end of it shall be with a flood until the end of the war. Till the end of the war, desolations are determined. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many of then then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week, but in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifices and offering. And the and on the wing of the abomination shall be uh, one who makes desolation, even until the consummation which is determined are poured out to desolation. Okay, and now I go look up. Cause the Lord talking about abomination and desolation. He told me to go to Daniel. Daniel talking about abomination and desolation. And it's talking about sacrifice and offering, right? Let me show y'all. So I go look up, because you know, pagans. When I read, I did research about uh desolation, abomination, desolation. I looked up what it means or what's the meaning, all this information about what in the Bible was talking about pagans. And about pagans had human sacrifices and pagan sex. I read an article. They had this was like in April 2017. They still doing this, but God said this going the world not gonna come to an end until all this happened. Us to be persecuted like like uh, Satan did the Lord. They did pa pagan sacrifices on him. Jesus Christ, a black man. All that they did right with him, that was pagan sacrifice. It was a ritual. That they put had uh the will. But really, I read on it when they had like a string. They did this in slavery days to our people, slaves. Same way they did Jesus Christ. Had a, uh, a whip and had nails in it. And it was, you know how they did Jesus? Whipped them. They did us the same way. Black people whipped us with whips. This was a pagan ritual. A religion. A ritual they do. They say cults, human sacrifice, and pagan sex. That's what they do. So the Lord got me up into that. So that's what they going back to, slavery days. The pagan people, they did Jesus Christ like this. The black man, when he was mad, they were mad because he also had different races following him because he was telling them about the kingdom on earth. So the Lord got me into this because they were still doing this. So also expect to the end, persecution, pagan. How are they going to do a sacrifice, a, a sacrifice, a ritual sacrifice like they did Jesus Christ? How they did us slavery days. Did our people, they killed us, hung on a tree, hit us with the, with the whips, with the nails in them, like they did Jesus Christ. It was a sacrifice. But just didn't know it was set up for a sacrifice that, that he sacrificed his life for us to die for our sins, that he, he's the freest people. So Satan was doing, the they were doing a sacrifice, a pagan sacrifice. That's why God told not to be into these pagan, pagan holidays. This how the whole thing is, this, this history thing. In the books, they switch everything around. 
Because y'all don't understand, these are fallen demons. How I go way back? Way back in um, Enoch. But they did Jesus Christ this way. So they do us the same way. And that's why they, they're fearful to the black people. Not saying everybody, because different race. Everybody, you know, Jesus had people go along with him. They weren't even, they weren't even racist. They want to hear the truth. But it's a race war. You got to understand this too. Lord told me that this is a race war. That's why they want to go back to old tribulations. I mean, old, uh, old Testament, Testament. Egypt. He don't freed us from Egypt. People going back to Egypt. Want to go back and sell, sell their soul to Satan over there. Hand your right hand, your authority that you have, all your rights. And going on back there to Egypt. And they going to this one world, this new world order. And they going to want to have a slavery. And which everybody going to be bound now to the Antichrist. Slavery. Which everybody going to become a slave. And they going to have no color. But they going to persecute us like they did Jesus Christ. They going to kill us. But the devil is alive because God's going to take his people home. But judgment. This is what God said. They're, going, they're trying to go back to this paganness. Back to the slavery day. They've been doing it because then the Lord had me to look and find an article. Tell me they were doing this still. Um, from Kill List, the Blood of Satan Claus. Celebrate May Day with a journey in the dark heart of English countryside. This was this was an article did in 2017. Don't place that article down at the bottom. Satan. And y'all know they do sacrifices. They doing it all. All they, all they, they, they doing all this witchcraft, sacrificing. All of them. Illuminati, all of them. They do the same thing. These paganists. They into their religion against Christ. Antichrist. Small ones. So that what the Lord got me into that, y'all. Then let's go on to finish this because he got me in more. Standing in the holy place. Whoever reads, let him understand. We back at um, <coughs> Matthew 24. Hold on, y'all. Because remember the Lord said, Rawls, Romans, Rawls. And then the Lord got me going to, y'all, uh, Daniel 11. And y'all know when Daniel, I think Daniel also was talking about Nebuchadnezzar, about these ten, these seven nations, these ten nations, seven nations, y'all know. Um, he got me reading into Daniel 11. I'm going to let y'all read that on your own. But it's also talking about uh, king of the south and the north. Like they're against each other. Whoa. I'm going to let y'all read that. Read all 11 because it's a long, it, it go long, y'all. It's 11. Uh, Daniel 11. And then, uh, let's read Daniel 11, because some people might not even got it. Let's read y'all. Daniel 11. Also in the first year of Darius and Medi, Medi, I, even I, stood up to confirm and strengthen him. And now I will tell you the truth. Behold, three more kings will rise in Paris, I mean Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than them all. See, look. Behold, three more kings will rise in, per in, in Persia. And the fourth should be rich, far richer than them all. By his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the uh, realm of Greece. Then a, a mighty king shall arise, who shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. And when he is arisen, his kingdom shall be broken up and, divi and divided towards the four winds of heaven. But not among his posterity, 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 uh, posterity, I think that's what it is, nor according to his dominion, which, which is he, in which he ruled, for his kingdom shall be uprooted, even from others beside these. Also the king of south shall become strong, as well as one of his princes, prince, and he shall gain power over them. Over him and had dominion and have dominion. His dominion shall be great, uh, be a great dominion. And the end of some years they shall join forces for the daughter of the king of the south shall go to the king of the north and make an agreement. But she shall not restrain the power of her, th her authority, and neither he nor his authority shall stand. But she shall be given up with those who brought her and with him who beget who begotten her, and with him. Who strengthened her in those times. And when he stay saying her. Y'all know the Lord been telling us about holotry. The, the woman of the beast. 
the woman to ride on the back of the beast or something. You know, the Lord been telling us about this, a, a fornication, a, a, a adultery, all this, the woman of the beast. And over here, talking about pagan, they into sex. Say so even the pagans, they into, they do their sex. So let's see what the Lord said. For who begot her with a time who strengthened her in those times. But from a branch of her root, one shall arise in her in his place, and who shall come with an army. Look at this, with an army. Enter the fortress of the king of the north, and deal with them and prevail. And he shall also carry their God captive to Egypt. Look at this, see? With their prince, with an S, princes. And their precious articles of silver and gold, and he should continue more years than the king of the north. And the king of the north shall come and come to the king of the king, the kingdom of the king of the south, but shall return his own land. Because y'all know way in the south too, they had number slavery in the south. Oh, I said, I'm in America. That's why I say everything turn around, they got slavery. <coughs> However, his son stir, shall stir up strife and assemble. A multitude of great forces, and one shall certainly come and overwhelm and pass through. Then he shall return to his fortress and stir up strife. And the king of the south shall be moved with rage, and out of the and go out and fight with him, with the king of the north, who shall muster a great multitude. But the multitude shall be given into the hands of his enemy. When he has taken away the multitude, his heart will be lifted up, and he will cast down ten of thousands, but he will not prevail. For the king of the north will return and muster and muster a multitude greater, greater than the former, and shall certainly come at the end of some years, which a great army and much equipped. A great army and much equipped. And y'all talking about this because just last night I had a dream. I got up early. I had a dream earlier. And y'all, and I in the dream, and the Lord was telling me to go travel somewhere. Because the war was coming. And I was trying to get up and try in my dream, trying to get up and, and pack and leave what he tell me to do, but something was holding me down. I rebuked that in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is telling you, know, even when the war comes, he has some people. You're just going to read. You know, because he had told us something about some, a war comes, some people are going to be able to leave. And I was trying to leave in my dream. And I, he was telling me to get my stuff packed and go. And I was trying to leave and something was holding me down. But I got up and rebuked that in the name of Jesus because the devil is a lie. Okay, y'all, so look at this. And the king of the south shall be moved with rage. And go out and fight and fight with him, with the king of the north, who shall muster a great multitude, but the multitude shall be given into the hand of his enemy. When he has taken away the multitude, his heart will be lifted up, and he will cast down tens of thousands, but he will not prevail. For the king of the north will return and, and muster a multitude greater than the former, and excuse me y'all and shall certainly come to an end of the years with a great army and much equipped now in those times many shall rise up against the king of the south also violent men of your people shall exalt themselves in fulfillment of the vision but they shall fall so the king of the north shall come and build a siege around a siege mound and take fortified fortify city and their forces of the south shall not withstand him even his cho his choice troops shall have comes shall have no strength to resist. Look, even his choice troops shall have no strength to resist. But he who comes against him shall do according to his own will, and no one shall stand against him. He shall stand in the glorious land which destruction is his power. Cause y'all know they talking about this war going on too. Got me with this. You no know, Biden all in the mix of this stuff with Ukraine and Russia. What they got going on? He shall also set his face to enter into the strength of his whole kingdom and uprightness. I mean, and upright ones with him. Thus he shall do, and he should give him the daughter of a woman. I mean, the daughter of woman who destroy it. See, daughter of woman who destroyed it. Because you know, also the Lord was talking about Babylon, destroying Babylon, the great harlot. But she shall not stand with him or be for him. After this, he shall turn his face to the coastlands and shall take many. But a ruler shall bring the reproach against them to an end, and with the reproach moved. He shall turn back on him, then he shall turn his face towards the fortress of his land, but he shall stumble and fall, and shall not be found. There shall arise in his place one who imposed taxes on the glorious kingdom. Taxes, y'all. But within a few days he shall be destroyed. 
but not in anger or in battle. And in this place shall arise a vile person to whom they will not give the honor of royalty. But he should come into peaceful belief and seize the kingdom of intrigue. With the force of flood, they shall be swept away from before him and be broken. And also the prince of the covenant. Y'all see it say swept away with a prince right here with a flood. Within the force of a flood, they should be swept away from before him and be broken. And also the prince of the covenant. And then the Lord tell us about the flood over here when he gave us in Daniel um, 9, 26 to 27. And it says right here, Daniel 26, it says, The end it shall be with a flood until the end of war, desolation of determination. A flood. But also the Lord talking about flood, you know, war, grief. It's going to be um, emptiness, war, hatred. So let's go where we at, y'all. And after these leagues is made with him, I mean, a flood... With the force of a flood, they should be swept away from be before him and be broken. Also, the prince of the covenant. And after the league is made with him, he shall act deceitfully. From He shall come up and become strong with a small number of people. He shall enter peacefully, he shall enter peacefully even into the richest place of the province. And he shall do what his father has not done, nor his forefathers. He shall dis disperse. Disperse among them the plunder, spoil, and riches, and he should devise his plans against the stronghold, but only for a time. He shall stir up the power of his courage against the king of south with a great army, and the king of the south should be stirred up to a battle with a great, uh, with a very great and mighty army. But he shall not stand, for they should despise plans against him. Yet they should. Yet those who eat of the portion of the delicacy, delicacy shall destroy him. His army will be swept away, and many f shall fall down slain. Remember the Lord was talking about Babylon, great fall. The south. But these kings' hearts shall be bent on evil, and they shall speak lies at the same table. But it shall not prosper. By the end will be at the appointed time, while returning to his land with great riches, as he shall... He shall be moved against the holy covenant, so he shall be damaged. He shall do damage and return to his own land. Tell you, these nations, I told you the Lord said, don't, don't meddle in this midst. But you know, you got to understand, people ain't, you can't come over here and think you're going to take up folks. Folks got guns. They ain't playing. But that's why I say they meddling and they, they fighting against each other behind all this. The Lord tell them, God, me here, talk about them with this war. And Daniel, talk about, he already told us about how Nebuchadnezzar, all these nations rise up. Look at this. So we're going to keep on reading. He's talking about the North King. After the appointed time, he, he shall return and go towards the south. But it shall not be like a former of the latter. For ships with Cyrus sh shall come against him. Therefore, he should be grieved and return into a rage against the Holy Covenant and do dam damage. So he shall return and show uh, regards of those who forsake the Holy Covenant. And forces shall be uh, mustered by him. And they shall defile the sanctuary fortress. When they shall take away the daily sacrifices and place them in abomination of devil's desolation. Look at the Lord. Still talking about abomination and desolation. Those are they paganists. And what I said, these, they don't care about hearing no people. And it's just not with the black people. Because you know, a lot of people uh, start following Jesus Christ, one of the black people. They hated that this black man was having other people walk their eyes up. And what I say, everybody ain't into the slavery stuff. That's why they're going to kill them too. Look at that. Daily sacrifice and place their abomination of de desolation. Those who do wicked against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God, talking about our Lord, shall be strong and carry a great exploit. Is it exploitants? And those of the people who understand shall instruct many. Yet for many days they shall fall by sword and flame, by captivity and plundering. Now when they all... Now when they fall, they should be abide with a little help, but many should join in them to by a tree. And some of those of understanding should fall to refine them, purify them, and make them white until until the time of end, because it's still because of it because it is still the point in time. Talking about making people white, white as snow. Told the Lord said persecution. Everybody's speaking the truth of the Lord because they don't want people to tell the truth. But God said he's doing judgment on these people, y'all. Then the king 
king shall do according to his own will. He shall exalt and magnify himself above every god. Shall speak blasphemies against the God, God of gods. Look. Then the king shall do accordingly. To his own will he shall exalt and magnify above every god. Shall speak blasphemies against the God. Talking about our Lord of gods. And shall prosper till the wrath has been accomplished. For what has been determined, determined shall be done. He shall regard neither the he shall regard neither the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard of any God. For he shall exalt himself above them all. Talking about the Lord. But in their place he shall honor but in their but in their place he shall honor a God of fortunes, and a God which his father did not know shall honor with gold and silver, with precious stones and precious things. Honor the small God, y'all, small G. Thus he shall act against the strongest fortress with foreign God, which he shall acknowledge and advance in glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many and divide the land for gain. Talking about dividing the land for gain, because they all against, y'all, no one speaking somewhere. At the time of the end of the king, at the end of the king of the south shall attack him, and the king of the north shall come against him with a whirlwind, with chariots, horses, and with many ships, and he shall enter the countries, overwhelm them, and pass through, he shall also enter to glorious land, and him and many countries shall be overthrown, but there shall there shall escape from his hand. Edom, Moab, and Pomitan people are uh uh um uh, uh, people are Ammon. I told y'all Moab, the Lord told me that was Greece. That's up in there. He shall stretch out his hand against the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. He shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and all over the precious things of Egypt. Also, Liberian, Liberians and Ethiopians shall follow at his heels. But the news of the east and the north shall trouble him. Therefore, he should go out with great fury and destroy uh, and annihilate them, uh, annihilate many. And he shall plant the tent of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountains, yet, yet Yet he shall come to his to his end, and no one shall help him. Tell you Babylon, because remember the Lord gave us about Babylon the Great. Because also, yesterday the Lord showed me some stuff. This man had a dollar bill on the back of the dollar bill. You know, I have an Egypt. It got the pyramid of Egypt on one side of the dollar. Then the other side, it got the United States flag. Because Egypt, I mean the uh, eagle, the United States on the back of the dollar got Egypt and United States because they're in the slavery. What the Lord was delivering Moses from. I mean, he had Moses took his people from Egypt. What is uh, not the United States? Egypt. It's the same thing. <coughs> Babylon. Egypt. I want to say slavery. It ain't never left. It just been up under the rug and we had a little freedom. But then the Lord, we, we fighting for freedom and was free. But then people gone on back. So that's why I say it's a war. A race war. And they fighting everything and going against these countries. Like you said, Babylon going to fall. They ain't in this war. United States and that, he all into this stuff. Thinking they all together. You reading that, they all together. And the great harlot behind the scene, the woman. And what the Lord say, who, who the harlot was? Vice president, right? They all in there together. Gonna go against him. He thinking he's doing something. They gonna go right on against him. Come over and they said, they all paganists. Don't believe in Christ. Don't believe in Jesus Christ. They hear to Christ. They believe in rituals and sacrifices. That's why I said, the Lord just not only talking about all people, but it was so much done with all people, but other people in other nations too. Different races, Hispanic and all these people, they slavery, because they did them the same way. Slavery with these people. And that's what they want you to go back to being a slave, a slave owner. That's why I said I had to dream about that slave master. God still is speaking. Okay, then we're going to go to Daniel 12, prophecy of end time. At the time, Michael shall stand up. And the great prince who stands watch over, stands watch over the sons of your people. And they shall be a, be a trouble of time, such as never was seen there with a nation, even on that time. And at that time, your people shall be delivered. Everyone who is found written in the book, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some of everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. contempt. Those who will, ri will rise... Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the ferment of the ferment of the fermentation, and those who turn away to righteousness like the stars forever and ever, like the stars, the angels. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of end. 
Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Then I, Daniel, look, and there stood two others, one of the river, one of this river bank, and the other on the other river bank. And one said to the man clothed in linen, Who was above the water of the earth? How long should the fulfillment of these wonders be? Then I heard a man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, when he held up held up his right hand and left hand and his left hand to heaven and swore to him who lives forever that it shall be for a time times and half a time and when the power of the holy people have been completely shattered all these things will be finished although i heard i did not understand then i said my lord what shall be at the end of these things and he said go your way daniel for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end Many many shall be purified, made white, and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifices is taken away, and the abomination of desolation is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who, who waits and comes to 1,345 days. But you go your way till the end, for you shall rest, and you will rise your inheritance at the end of the days. Persecution. The paganists, they're going to go back into doing this. That's what God's saying. That's what they want to do. So let's go back to, uh, Lord have, let's go back to Matthew. See, the Lord gave me that, y'all. And then talking about the war. Tell him, he told us everything that happened. It's right here. Okay, let's go back to Matthew 24. Okay, and we're going to go right here to uh, Abomination Desolation. Spoken to Daniel the prophet. We do, got through over talking about Daniel because he gave me that. Standing in the holy places, whoever read, let him understand. Then let those who are in Ju Ju Judah, I mean Judea, flee from the mountains. See, flee from the mountains. Because I'm telling you, my dream, I seem like a, the Lord was telling me to pack up and go. And I'm up in there trying to get up and go. And something's telling me, holding me down. But the devil is a lie. Then let those who Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is in the housetop not go down and take anything out of the house. And let him who in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and those who are nursing the babies in those days. But you know what? I couldn't even, if I want to pack something, I couldn't even pack up nothing in the dream. <laughs> Let's go. But woe to those who are pregnant and those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that you that your flight may not be in a winter of the Sabbath, for there will be great tri be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. See, and this will get me when I told y'all the Lord said tribulation and great tribulation. Like I tell you, we still in tribulations, for there will be a great tribulation, such has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. See, now it has not been since the beginning of the, of the world until this time. Nor, no, nor shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect, say, those will be shortened. Then if anyone say to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand, beforehand. Therefore, if you say to if they, if they say to you, look, here is the here is the desert. Do not go out or look. He is in the he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. For the light, the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west. So also will the coming of the sun may be. For whoever, I mean for whatever, for wherever the carcass is, the eagle will be will be uh, gathered together immediately after the tribulation of those days it ain't say it just say immediately after the tribulations of those days it ain't say great tribulation but it say tribulation the sun will darken and the moon will, the moon will not give its light you talking about darken darkening y'all got me thinking about the three days of darkness the star will found the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven will be shaken then the signs the son, a son of man, will appear in heaven. Then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, sound of a trumpet. They will gather, 
and they will gather together his elect from the four winds for one end of heaven to the other. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When the branches have already become tender and put forth leaves, you know the summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the door. Or surely I say to you, this generation will, be, will by no means pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words by I mean, but my words will by no means pass away. That was God say his word is his word. Word gonna be here when we still all pass away, this earth pass away. But of the day and honor, I mean, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, here go talking about the flood. Before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving marriage until the day of Noah entered the ark. And did not know until the flood came and took them away. So also, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. The two men will be in the field. One will be taken, another one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken away. <coughs> one, will be, one will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master, but if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Watch. You got to watch. We got to stay watch. Pay attention to the Lord. Therefore, you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is faithful and wise and wise servant? Who is his master made, made ruler over his household to give him food in due season? Blessed is the servant whom his master, when he comes, you will find so doing. Or surely I say to you that he will make the ruler of, uh, over all his God. Uh, over, or surely I say to you, he will make him ruler of, over all his goods. But if the evil servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his come and begins to beat his fellow servant and eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of the servant will come on that day when he is not looking for him and at that hour that he is not aware of and will cut him into, cut him to, and cut him to and appoint him his portion from uh, with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. Because the Lord talking about we need to stay in his face. Don't be stop doing sinful things. Continue to walk righteousness. When he come, you'll know. Because you have the word, you be tuned into the Lord. But these people into the world, they all, don't be distracted, y'all. Stay focused on the Lord. So the Lord gave me this this morning, y'all. Like I said, I had, had a dream. Somebody I knew. A storm was coming. It was him, his wife, and they had a child. And they were building up, trying to board up their house. Put uh, two by fours on the windows because the storm was coming. Y'all, just know God's speaking. That's why I say this paganist. The Lord got me into that. I'm going to put that article at the bottom too, y'all. Satan. How to do Jesus Christ? want to go back to slavery. That's why I say it's war. Yeah, it is war. Slavery war too. Race wars. Y'all, y'all be blessing Jesus' name. Knowing things will never be the same. Worship and glorify his holy name, Jesus Christ.